slope. Today's topic is slope. Add this topic to your notes and today's date. A positive slope. Here's an example of a graph that has a line with a positive slope. Notice that the line is going up and to the right. If this were a business, sales would be good and increasing and going up, up, up. So positive slopes go up and to the right. Put an example of this type of line into your notes. Negative slope. Here's an example of a graph that has a line with a negative slope. Notice that this line is going down. Put an example of a line with a negative slope into your notes. Zero slope. Here's an example of a line that has a zero slope. It's not going up or down, it just goes straight across. This line is horizontal. Put an example of a zero slope into your notes. And finally, a slope that goes up and down like this is called an undefined slope. Notice it is completely vertical. Put an example of an undefined slope into your notes with a vertical line. When we look at this line, you can tell that it is a positive slope. It's going up and to the right. I'm going to show you how to calculate the slope using rise over run. To do this, we have to draw in a right angle. We select any two consecutive points and make a right angle. I'll show you how. I'm going to start with this point right here, and I'm going to rise, and then I'm going to run. See the right angle I made? It, for the red block, I rise two units. For the green block, I go over or run one unit. So my slope is rise two and run one. My slope is two over one. Let's try this one. I can see right away that this line is going down. It will have a negative slope. To calculate the the slope, I get two consecutive points and I make a right angle. I'm going to start with this slope, this point and rise. Looks like I'm going to rise one and I'm going to draw the orange line back for my run. So this rises one and it runs backwards three units. One, two, three blocks, so three units. So my slope, I rise one, but I run backwards three. So that's going backwards, that's negative three. So my slope is negative one third. We're gonna take this one step further. I would like you to plot ordered pairs and then find the slope. I'll show you how this one's done. We're gonna plot two, one. That means over two, up one. So that point is right there. And then we're gonna plot five, four. So over five, up four. That point is right there. Now I'm going to draw a line through those points to create my graph. Once we've created the line, we're gonna find the slope, the rise over the run. So from the first point to the second point, we're gonna make a right angle. So it rises and then it runs. See how that makes a triangle, like a right angle? So this one rises three units, and then it runs, that green line there runs three blocks. So my slope is rise three, run three. We could simplify that because three divided by three is one. My slope is positive one, or three over three. Let's try another one. Plot the ordered pairs and find the slope. Negative 2, 2, that would be right there. And then 3, 5 would be right here. 
and I'm going to connect them. And now I know it's positive. That's going to be part of my answer. And then I have to find the rise over the run. I have to make a right angle. So this one looks like it's rising three red blocks. And then it's running one, two, three, four, five blocks. So I just count it up and over. Rise three, run five. And that is my slope. Okay, let's try one more example like this. We're going to plot and find the slope. So negative 1, negative 3. So that it started the origin, go back 1, down 3. And then over 2 and down 2, so that'd be right here. I'm going to draw a line through those two points. And I'm going to find the slope. It looks like it's positive again. So I have to do rise and run from the first point to the second point. So it looks here like it rises one block and then it runs three blocks, one, two, three. So my slope is rise over run, rises one, and runs three, and it's positive, so one third. Okay, for this next section, I want you to try these and put the video on pause, and then press play to see what the answer is. Um, would you say that this line here is positive, negative, zero, or undefined? Pause the video now and write down your answer. The answer is negative because this line is going down. Did you get that one right? How about this line? Is it positive, negative, zero, or undefined? Pause the video, write down your answer, and then press play to see how you did. Did you say undefined? It's undefined because it's straight up and down. It's a vertical line. Okay, same thing for this one. Positive, negative, zero, or undefined. Put the video on pause and write down your answer choice. Did you say positive? It's positive because it's going up. Last example. This line here, is it positive, negative, zero, or undefined? Put the video on pause and write down your answer should have said hor uh, zero because the line is horizontal. For the next one, I'd like you to find the slope. So pick two points, rise and run, and see what the slope is. Rise over run. Put the video on pause and see if you can try that for a minute. This one rises one and runs two. So the slope of this line is one half and it's positive. To try another one. I see right away that this line's going down. Pick two points and try to make a right angle and count rise over run, see what you get. For this one, I'm rising two blocks and I'm running backwards one block, so it's negative one, which makes sense because that is a negative line. Here's the last example of the day. So I want you to put this little piece of graph paper into your notes when we're done. But go ahead and plot the two points, negative 1 and 3, and then 4 and 4. Draw the line, then find the rise and the run, find the slope. Good luck. Put the video on pause while you work on this, and then press play to check. Okay, let's check. First step was to plot the points. Did you put the, the points here? Negative 1 and 3 and 4 and 4. Then connect them to make a line. Okay, now we have to do rise over run. From the first point to the second point, we're going to make a right angle. So it's going to rise up one block. And then it's going to run over. One, two, three, four, five blocks. So we rise one, and we run over five. And our line is positive, so one-fifth was the answer. Okay, we've reached the, note, the end of the notes, so please show me your completed notes, and uh, we'll go from there. Thanks.